In this video, I'm bringing you the ultimate guide to create stunning, ultra-realistic AI photos with Adobe Firefly 2 in minutes. You will master everything related with AI photography using Firefly, including optimal settings to achieve photo realism, using reference images, effects, lighting, camera settings and more. To access Adobe Firefly Image 2, visit firefly.adobe.com sign up for an account if you haven't already. Once logged in, click on text to image and type in your desired prompt. The prompt bar is where the magic begins. Here, you can type in phrases or descriptions, and Adobe Firefly will generate images based on your input. A remarkable feature here is the prompt suggestions option. When enabled, it offers visual ideas, simplifying the prompt creation process, which can be toggled on or off based on your preference. Every style element we will add to our prompt from sidebar will be visible here and can easily be removed from prompt bar with X button. It's also smart enough to understand, for example if you mention cinematic in your prompt, it will automatically add cinematic style here. Let's talk about sidebar. Here we have multiple options which allow us to fine tune our initial image. First option you will find here is changing aspect ratio. Post image generation, you can alter the aspect ratio to fit your desired dimensions, a handy feature for different project requirements. Content type is one of the most fundamental choices you need to make. It allows you to select between a photorealistic or a more illustrative, artsy style based on the visual goal you have in mind. Visual intensity is one of the most important elements of creating photorealistic images. This slider resembles the stylized and style raw features on Mid Journey. Lower values yield realistic images, while higher values venture into surrealistic realms. And if you choose art then visual intensity works from digital art to something more illustrative. Style strength is another critical element in our workflow. It determines the extent to which Firefly adheres to the styles you choose from style panel. For photorealism, we have to be sure hyper-realistic style option is selected. If you want to go to more cinematic direction, I also recommend you to select cinematic style. For optimal settings for hyper-realistic AI photos, set the visual intensity slider all the way to the left for maximum realism. Additionally, set the style strength slider all the way to the right to ensure the hyper-realistic style is fully applied to the final image. Similar to image prompting on Mid Journey, Firefly gives option to upload a reference image, and it will craft visuals mirroring the style of your uploaded image. Here I will click on Upload an Image option and select one of my Mid Journey creations. The style strength also considers the style of the image you uploaded. If you set the style strength slider all the way to the right, the result will more closely resemble the style of the original image you uploaded. Here is original image and Firefly generated alternatives. Firefly has a comprehensive list of effects. Once you start experimenting with it, it's really fun. Here you can see same image with various artistic effects like Art Deco, Baroque and Cyberpunk to add a distinctive flair to your images. On the sidebar you can also play with color schemes of your image such as black and white, vibrant, cool tone or warm tone to evoke different emotions. You can explore different lighting settings like golden hour, backlighting, dramatic lighting or studio lighting to influence the ambience. Composition allows you to give more context to Firefly about your intended creative direction. You have options like close-up which is perfect for portrait type of photos. You have also landscape photography or macro photography. Additional to that under composition, you will find controls about camera's relative direction towards subject like shot from above or below as well as wide angle. If you find this video valuable please like and subscribe to my channel. With photo settings we are entering to advanced controls. Aperture lets in more light to camera and provides a shallow depth of field, creating a pronounced lens blur or bokeh in the background or foreground. Conversely, a smaller aperture allows for a wider depth of field, keeping more of the scene in focus. Shutter speed, a fast shutter speed can freeze fast moving subjects, effectively eliminating motion blur. On the other hand, a slow shutter speed can introduce motion blur, which can be used creatively to capture the sense of movement in subjects like waterfalls or fast moving vehicles. Field of view, this setting adjusts how much of a scene your camera captures, which is similar to zooming in or out. A wider field of view captures more of a scene, making subjects appear smaller and distant. In contrast, a narrower field of view zooms in on subjects, making them appear larger and closer. This setting is quite helpful in cases when you feel subject is too far from camera or too close. Under advanced settings you will also find exclude from image option. You can type a keyword here and hit enter so on paper Firefly should exclude that element from image but in practice it doesn't work. Firefly needs more improvement with this feature since it couldn't exclude jewelry from the scene in this example. If you hover over one of the generated images on the grid, you will see edit photo option. Here you will find generative fill to fine tune your image by removing or adding elements using the brush tool. 
Let's add a tree to the background of this image. First I select the area I want to modify with brush tool. After that, I come to prompt box and type a tree. I will be offered three options and I can choose the one I like the best. Show similar works like image variations on mid journey except you can't edit the prompt. This button keeps one image on the grid and brings three more images similar to the one you liked. I think this is one of the coolest and most usable options on Firefly. Use a style reference button applies the style of the current image in new generations. Essentially working similar to image prompting I mentioned before, produces similar results to original image style with new and updated prompt but directly from the grid. Remove background is a straightforward option to isolate the subject from the background. When you click on it, it opens the image in Adobe Express. Additional to background removal you can edit the image with variety of options like adding text or other elements. When you want to download an image from Firefly, it seeds the image with AI credentials in an attempt to prevent spread of fake news and fake AI images. Downloaded image has 2K dimensions so you really don't need any third-party upscalers for that image. Adobe Firefly's model training data appears to be grounded in stock photos, rendering it proficient in creating stock image-like visuals. However, for a cinematic vibe, Mijuni remains a better choice for my taste. Even though Firefly listens to the prompt much better than Mijuni, it still struggles with complex or unusual concepts like this prompt. And it struggles with subjects' face causing occasionally weird faces and bokeh effect on subjects' hair looks quite off at the moment. However, it's safe to say that both Doll E3 and Adobe Firefly are great competition for Mijuni especially when it comes to natural understanding of prompt. I'm hoping Mijuni version 6 will make a significant improvement with natural understanding. Generally, realism on Firefly seems to surpass mid-journey version 5.2 due to the nature of stock photos in training data. Estelle's skin realism is whole new level on Firefly. Hopefully, this video was truly helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials. If you want to learn more about creating AI photos and videos, click here.